Even all remarkers here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, I was all set to show you how to sideload apps to your Oculus Go. So take normal Android apps, things that aren't available in the Oculus Go store, and get them onto your Oculus Go so you can use them. I don't know if you know, but a few days ago, Oculus released an app called Oculus TV. And in there, it brings together a lot of the media apps. And one of the side effects to that was if you sideloaded any apps, they would appear in Oculus TV. If you kind of imagine, most Android apps are 2D, they're not VR. So if you use them in VR, they would look all weird. But Oculus TV gives you a flat screen to be able to project those apps onto and run them from. And it works really well. As I said, I was halfway through making a video showing you how to sideload apps. And I noticed Mike over at Virtual Reality Oasis has done a video already and it is brilliant. It covers everything you can imagine. He gives you custom drivers, he covers Windows, he covers Mac, he does a brilliant job. And I'm, to be honest, I don't think I could top it. The guy's got some experience on me doing videos. So I'd say head over there, check that video out, check out that process. He explains it in perfect detail and I'll put a link to that above and below and you can just jump over there and have a look. There's no point in me rehashing it, the guy's done a great job. But what I wanted to do is go through a couple of tricks I think will make your life easier in loading apps and getting the best experience out of it. So let's take a look. First thing I wanted to show you was something that can make it a little bit easier to sideload apps. So as you know, if you've already set up the sideloading of apps, you have to go to the command line, you have to type all the stuff in to sideload them, you have to rename APKs and all that jazz. Well, there's a program that helps make that little process a little bit more streamlined and a little bit easier for those of us that are not as technically savvy. I mean, I like to think I am, but even I kind of prefer this way because, you know, it just kind of takes that kind of guesswork or trial and error out of it sort of thing. You literally kind of just use this program and it's perfect. So it's called ADB Link. I'll put a link to it down below where you can download it. And basically, once you connect your headset like normal, it shows up in this program. You don't need to go to the command line to type in ADB devices or anything like that. It brings it up straight away. And from here, it's perfect. So once you've got your headset in, obviously you can click on it. You just go to install APK, search for where you stored the APK, click on it, open it, and then click yes to install. I'm gonna click no to this one because I actually have installed this one already. But then it'll just do the same sort of process that you see in command line normally, waits a few seconds and then says it's installed. And there it is, sorted. So it's a brilliant little bit of software. I definitely suggest hitting that donate button on the bottom of this bit of software. Give them a few quid because this will save you so much time and effort. I mean, it even allows you to uninstall stuff. So if you click uninstall, it brings a list up of all the apps and APKs you've got installed. So it makes it super, super easy. There's no sort of messing around with command line. I think that's a win. As I say, link to that down below. So the next one can be called controversial, but it's Kodi. But Kodi in itself is a totally legitimate piece of software, but people use it for less legitimate means, shall we say. But it has a great use on Oculus Go and within sideloader and apps. So if you were to download it, so if you click onto the download option, scroll down to the Android version, and download the 64-bit version. Once you've done that, use ADB link to install it. There you go. And that app will show up in Oculus TV as an actual app. The great thing that Kodi offers you is if you kind of go into your headset here and you click on Kodi once it's installed, there are some apps when you create them, they don't give you a link. An image doesn't appear on Oculus TV for be able to access it. But if you go down to add-ons within Kodi, you can see Android apps. If you click on there, it then gives you a list of all the Android apps installed on your Oculus Go, even if they're not officially listed or unlisted or anything. You don't have to go through the unknown list, you get a picture, you can sort of see all the different apps. It's brilliant, so they appear here, so you can use Kodi for that. And obviously there are other uses for Kodi, but I'm not gonna go into that for obvious reasons. But I think that's a great option, a great way to access apps and anything else that's not usually available. It also gives you access to other apps and stuff that are already installed as part of Android, like this files that you wouldn't usually have access to so that's pretty cool my third and final tip is that as you well know if you've got a netflix subscription you do have a netflix app on the go but if you sideload the normal version it gives you the option to download programs you don't get that in the native oculus go app 
but you do in the sideloaded version. The same goes for downloading Amazon Prime video and that sort of thing. You can download those and download the programs. One word of note though is if you go offline and you back out of Oculus TV, you can't get back in without an internet connection. So you either need to tether to your phone or you need to connect to another Wi-Fi network to be able to get into Oculus TV. However, once you're in, you can disconnect from the internet. So say you could connect it to the hotspot on your phone, get into Oculus TV, start accessing the programs you've downloaded but once you're in log off on your phone and you're still in and you can carry on watching sort of thing so i'd say that's a big bonus being able to download netflix content is going to be a lifesaver it's one of the downsides to find in the uk that there's no sort of official download services which makes it a real pain to be able to get some nice quality tv and films downloaded to oculus go so this is a perfect solution. So hopefully those three tips help. So if you want to learn how to set up sideloading, head over to see Mike, a virtual reality oasis. He's, as I say, he's got a brilliant video. He'll go through every step with you and you can learn it all over there. But hopefully my videos add a little bit to it, explains a little bit more. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and try and improve for next time. Also let me know in the comments down below what apps are you sideloading? What are you finding useful? What works? What doesn't work? Let me know down below, maybe I'll feature something in a future video. Well, that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five. <laughs>